Everybody, Lord for Life here, bringing guys a brand new archetype overhaul for Evil Heroes. Okay, so, <laughs> I, I really do like this deck. It's really, oh god, I, I like every hero the archetype, but aesthetically, Evil Heroes are like my jam. They look really, really cool. They all have great artwork and everything, but they are objectively the worst, okay? It's a sad day when a, an archetype, Vision Heroes, has four cards printed. And it's objectively better than a fully-fledged archetype in Evil Heroes. It's really, really just kind of sad how this deck very much got what I call bad guy syndrome. Where, oh, the, the, oh, you're the villain's deck? Oh, okay, then, well, you're going to be crap. Okay, it really is just crazy how almost every single villain archetype in the game from the anime has been bad. <laughs> you know, uh, it's a whole, it's a huge list. <laughs> And, yeah, Evil Heroes are one of the best examples of it. I guess I should say worse than that case, but I digress. So, what are Evil Heroes? Evil Heroes are meant to be retrains of the original heroes. Uh, every single one of them, with the exception of, like, four of them, are just straight-up retrains, improvements upon the originals. And that comes with a double-edged sword. So, like, let's take, for instance, Lightning Golem here. He's the retrain of Thunder Giant. Has same exact summoning conditions, same exact attack and defense, same exact stats. Everything's the same, except his effect is approved upon with being able to just once per turn destroy a monster on the field. Thunder Giant required a discard, and the monster had to be a monster of original attack lower than his own. That's pretty silly, <laughs> you know? Really, really silly for just a simple popping. Especially when we got monsters nowadays like Zudia Dreadic, who can just do it for practically free every turn. So, Thunder Giant, uh, Th Thunder Giant was just absolute trash lightning golem is objectively better that being said the deck still has a few issues especially in regards to its reliance on dark fusion and dark fusion like with everything else in this deck is very much a double-edged sword especially the reliance on it so that being said though the deck also has three main deck monsters uh, that being Melissa's Edge, Dark Prodigy, and also Evil Hero Infernal Gainer. Uh, Dark Prodigy and Melissa's Edge aren't really much to really talk about. Uh, Dark Prodigy is pretty nice for being a Cyber Dragon and letting you draw at the end phase after being tributed for the Tribute Summon of a Hero Monster, which makes him a bit useful in other decks like maybe Neospatians, where he might be really good Tribute Fodder to summon out for, well, uh, Neos. That being said, I've never seen anybody play him in Neospatians, but it's just something that's a nice little interaction. Uh, Infernal Prodigy, though, is, uh, sorry, uh, Infernal Gainer is actually really good, though. Once per turn, you can banish him for two turns until your next, like, th second standby phase, if I remember correctly, and then target one fiend monster you control. It can make two attacks during each battle phase. That's not during just this turn. It's a permanent attack gaining effect to where that monster can permanently attack twice every battle phase. And it's really, really good and helps out with the OTK for Dark Gaia. Now then, with all that being said, what's Dark Fusion? What's Dark Calling? Dark Fusion is a improvement <laughs> to polymerization. And I have to put like a question mark there because it's very strange how they went about this. First and foremost, Dark Fusion can only be used to fusion summon a fiend type monster. But, however, on that note, it's a very nice in the fact that it gives that fiend type monster that you summoned immunity to targeting for the turn. It's only until the end of your turn, but, however, that targeting immunity is really, really handy in a lot of situations. Especially with a lot of targeting effects like, you know, uh, good old infinite impermanence, uh, effect filler, and all that fun stuff. <coughs> excuse me. Excuse me. Uh running around so dark fusion is really handy for that situation dark calling is straight up dark fusion even treats itself as such uh when being used for a fusion summon but however you can only use monsters in your hand or graveyard by banishing them also does not provide that wonderful protection <laughs> so yeah dark calling and dark fusion both really good cards overall but however it's the over reliance on dark fusion that really cripples this deck alongside the over-reliance on something else. Uh, Dark Fusion, up until very recently, was unsearchable. Polymerization has oodles upon oodles upon oodles of search power and support, okay? Like, even at the time when this came out, King of the Swamp was a thing. Polymerization can search it out. There's, I mean, sorry, King of the Swamp can search out polymerization. Nothing 
up until recently could search out Dark Fusion. And even then, when we first did get a really good search card for it, it was Sabatiel's Effect Engrave. That, that's not particularly good. <laughs> uh, that was like the only really viable way for a while, and it wasn't until recently with the release of a good old Predator Plant Darling Cobra and Predator Plant Orpha Scorpio with the Predator Plant engine that we finally got a way to search out Dark Fusion effectively. There's also Keeper of Dragonic Magic who can do it, but however, he's not particularly great thanks to Master Roll 4. Uh, yet another reason why I hate Master Roll 4. So, Evil Hero Dark Gaia. I've mentioned him a few times. He is objectively the best Evil Hero Fusion monster, and thanks to him, he's, the deck actually did see some regional success. Dark Gaia gaining the attack and defense of the two fusion materials he used for him, which needs a feed and type monster, plus a rock type monster, and then when he attacks a monster, all monsters your opponent controls switch to attack mode. So really good effects overall for him. The big thing is that you basically use Dystopia the Despondent plus Valkyrion the Magna Warrior to fuse him and he becomes an 8500 untargetable beat stick. <laughs> it is really scary in that regard because then basically all you got to do is give your opponent a Jama token or attack into something else that's really weak and you, you win. <laughs> it's really, really nice. And that uh, he's basically one punch man. <laughs> uh, it's just kind of funny in that sense. Really good card though. Objectively the best fusion. I think that honestly all the dark evil hero fusions are pretty good. But he is objectively the best. So what are the issues with the deck? First and foremost the deck has a heavy reliance on the original heroes. Okay. I don't know if you've noticed while looking at the fusion materials. But they do require the original heroes. Being straight up retrains of the original hero fusions, they require the original heroes to go into. Okay, that means you're running a bunch of vanillas who have, well, obviously no effect because they're vanillas, and yeah, they they have not aged well. <laughs> the original heroes uh, were already uh, being phased out entirely uh, back in the day, and it's just gotten even worse nowadays. The deck also has really no particularly good first turn plays, or heck, plays in general. Outside of summoning out Dark Gaia and swinging for big damage, the deck doesn't have really that much going for it. Uh, yes, their fusions are pretty nice, but the, the untargetable, uh, untargetableness <laughs> is only until the end of your turn. And once that's phased out, their low attack values tend to lead them to getting ran over pretty easily. Also, the fact that like their best fusion that's not Dark Gaia and Lightning Golem is not a quick effect, that really does hinder it as well. Uh, the, then there's also just the overall lack of support. There's Aside from the three main deck monsters, there isn't much going for it. There's Dark Fusion, Dark Calling, the three main deck monsters, and then a bunch of fusions. That is literally it. Yes, you have the, what, like, thousand-something other hero cards out there that can support the deck, but they all focus on polymerization, not Dark Fusion. Moreover, they don't mess well, okay? You basically have to play this deck like you would be playing Retro Heroes. And that's not bad. That's not good. Heck, Retro Heroes are better than Evil Heroes because they have all the different polymerization support cards. They have all the different ways to get to polymerization. And they have all the different other things that can recur polymerization and use it like crazy. Evil Heroes don't have that. Once you use up your Dark Fusion, unless you are playing something like Demog in your deck to get it back to your hand, you, you used it. It's gone. It's good. You, you, you're done. <laughs> and basically restricting you to up to basically only maybe three fusions at most. If you don't get OTK. Or if you don't OTK first with Dark Gaia. Because, let's be honest, if you want to play Evil Heroes, you're playing Dark Gaia OTK. So, ah, uh, boy. That's the issues with the deck. Okay? Now, let's bring up how I would fix this. First and foremost, and this also goes for Retro Heroes, I would retrain all four original normal monster heroes. Avion, Pursuit Trek, Sparkman, Clayman. As much as I love these four, and as iconic as they are for me, uh, growing up watching GX and stuff, they have not aged well. They, yes, they can make use of all the nice normal support that has come out in recent years, like Rescue Rabbit, Unexpected Die, and all that fun stuff, but however, that's not enough. They really need to be retrained, and I'm actually going to try and 
take <laughs> my uh, uh, my experience and try and apply that to creating uh, what I like to see in a retrain. I don't know if I made it too broken, but we'll talk about that here in a minute. I would love to see also some spell and trap support, something that searches out dark fusion, dark calling, grabs a pack from graveyard, maybe a better version of dark fusion that can like fuse from deck or something. That'd be really good. Something crazy like that. Uh, so yeah, the deck also just needs to play at Nibblers. And we also need another good hero link monster. I'm just going to throw that out <laughs> real quick. Yes, we did just get cross guy, but cross guy specifically for destiny heroes. So we're still stuck with wonder driver. Yay. Wonder driver. Now I will say wonder driver is not actually half bad for the deck purely because he can get back dark fusion onto your field, which is nice. But he still only gives you one link arrow. <laughs> so that doesn't really give you much for, uh, you know, playing. <laughs> uh, anyways, so yeah. Here's what I kind of came up with for a evil hero retrain of your original elemental hero. Keep in mind, I'm not good at writing PSCT. So I tried my best and I had to confine to the PowerPoint slide. So I had to use short hands everywhere. So, first effect that I thought of, uh, make it always treated as Percentrix. Or insert Sparkman, Clayman, Bubbleman. You know, I, I don't think Bubbleman needs to be retrained because he actually has a good effect, but, you know, so on and so forth. Uh, you know, just make it always treated as the originals because uh, unless you're playing for nostalgia purposes, you will never touch those original heroes again. So, make it to where they're always treated as such. And then, I would give them a... Effect that applies when they are used for a fusion monster, for a fusion summon, for a monster that specifically lets them as fusion material. And then I'd also give them a secondary effect. Uh, in Bristinatrix's case here, I came up with one that banishes her from the field to use something on there. Uh, in a similar vein to Infernal Gainer, but also that could be a discard effect. That could be any other sort of effect to support the deck. So, for something that I came up with, uh, if this card is used, if a monster is fused in summon, you use this card that specifically lets E Hero by Standardrix, that monster gains 1200 attack. One of my biggest issues with the original heroes and also uh, good old evil heroes is their very crappy attack stat line for being an offensive deck. <laughs> it's rather annoying. So, let's fix that up. And then also, again, I would give them a secondary effect that supports the archetype, whether it be by a discarding effect or an effect on field. And in this case, I came up with the effect on field where you can banish the card from the field, target one hero monster, and apply the following effect to it uh, to where, oh, if it destroys a monster in battle, you get to add one normal fusion spell from your deck or graveyard to your hand, but you cannot summon monsters set for heroes for us to turn. That was my general idea with that to try and make it to where you don't just search out instant fusion and abuse it to high hell because that's rather annoying. So this is something that I came up with. I it's 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 something that I would like to see. Okay, I don't know if this is too broken. I don't know if it's not good enough. <laughs> and I would love to see what you guys think and what you guys can come up with to try and uh, you know fix this deck. Okay, it's just my idea. I'm not saying it's good. I'm not saying. In fact, it's probably bad. I don't know. <laughs> but however, this is something that I would actually really like to see for the deck. So, as for spell and trap support, I kind of mentioned it earlier, but I'd really like to see a way of searching and recursion for dark fusion and dark calling, a Sadal fusion esque spell card, and I'd also like to see a revival spell. Okay, something that's really annoyed me is that the original heroes and also the evil heroes, for whatever reason, Konami felt like that it's necessary to make it to where it cannot be special summoned except by fusion summon. That is stupid. It's annoying, and, and it's the same. It's my same problem with the original A or Z monsters. Very, very annoying. Okay, so a revival spell that ignores that summoning clause, much in the same way that a lot of the stuff for ancient gears ignores summoning conditions, so you can actually special summon uh, ancient gear golem, would be really nice. I'd also like to see the deck get a field spell in some way uh, to try and. And help the deck out a bit more. Something that maybe says, "Oh, you fusion summon a, an evil hero monster. Okay, you get to add back your dark fusion from your grave to your hand, or you can add one of its fusion materials from your grave to your hand. Something like that. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, it probably would be. I don't know if it'd be broken or not, but it'd be kind of nice. 
something kind of nice like that, you know? Although knowing Konami, they'll probably call it Evil City and, like, make it to where a weapon it attacks an opponent's monster if attack higher than it, it gains a thousand attack. Because, of course, we all need that extra thousand attack as a field spell that only lasts when it attacks. Thank you for doing that, not just for Elemental Heroes, but for Destiny Heroes as well, Konami. Thank you. <laughs> so, yeah, that is everything about El Evil Heroes. I really, really, really want to see Konami give this deck some love. With the recent Destiny Hero support announced, I'm hoping that maybe, just maybe, Konami might give the Supreme King, the original Supreme King, his glory days. You know, something just so cool, revitalize the deck, Neos has got it, Destiny Heroes have got it, the Evil Heroes next, maybe? It's They, they did Elemental Heroes slash Neos Spatians, and now they moved on to Destiny Heroes, so... Maybe Evil Heroes are next, because chrono chronologically, they appeared in that order. I don't know. <laughs> It'd be really nice, but I, I kind of told him on to thin streads here. Uh, that being said, what do you guys think of Evil Heroes? What would you like to see from the deck? What would you like to see Konami do to fix it? Uh, did you like any of my ideas in terms of fixing it? Do you have some better ones of your own? I would love to see your ideas, comments, and concerns. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day. It's your birthday. Happy birthday. And peace out.